Yeah, she's just a backup. And I can't pronounce the name of her. I'm not really sure what type. Uh, she has, as you can see, a tinge of red on her mandibles. She's quite small. Uh, very small. As you can see the size difference to my finger. Pretty small. Unsure what this type is. Um, I could be guessing. It could be like a thief ant or something like that. I don't know. That's why I'm getting used to have a look and help me identify her. So stuff. She has a small um, brood of eggs. <coughs> She's lying pretty small, but yeah. I am unsure what type this one is. <laughs> She is a queen, as you can see if you look on her back, a bit blurry, you can see some spikes, I think she has four spikes, as you can see, right there on her back, might be a little hard to see. She also has only three eggs, uh, she's not laying too fast, but yeah, she's, I've actually had three of these and she's the one who survived so far, yeah, and she's also if you can see that, pulled a lot of the cotton. Uh, I think she's making herself at home, or um, uh, I don't know. She's really messed it up <laughs> pretty well. This is the same as the one that I showed you just then. Um, I've heard of red that people think their queen has died, then so much time later she'd come back to life. So. I don't know if she's hibernating or... I think she's probably dead, so I'm just going to leave her there for a bit. I have no idea, but I'm pretty sure she's dead, so... If I find a better queen, I'll replace her. I don't know. See what happens. Again, I'm not sure what type of queen this is. Um, she's a slightly larger queen. Probably, um... Probably one and a half two centimeters long. She's larger than the ones I have. Probably a medium sized queen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this one looks a lot like the grease hand. Or it's probably not a grease hand, but anyway. The one I have one looks a lot like this, but it's smaller and it's definitely a different type because I had two of these. One smaller, one bigger in a container hand. This one actually bit off the head of the other one, so yeah, definitely different. Um, she still has her wings, and I can't see her taking them off, but just got to see what happens. She actually has a little brood there, you can see her just underneath her, so yeah. Now, this is the nine queens I'm going to be using. Uh, you can see they have quite a large brood of eggs underneath them. All that white there is all the eggs. So um, Yeah, I'm hoping that when the first worker comes, these will all get along and they won't kill each other. So I'm really not sure if they're the right ones or not. So yeah. I've got a, I've already showed you the backup one. It only has a small clutch of eggs. And they... I'm guessing maybe they have 150 eggs here, I'm not sure, there's a uh, freak load, of, so these are the ones that I plan to use in my uh, setup that I've almost got completed, so yeah, uh, quite a few eggs and quite a few queens, and they're doing very well, none out of these queens that I've gone, none of them have ever died compared to the other queens that I've had before, so they're pretty tough little ants. 